historical Spartanburg landmark will become new apartments. 7 News' Alessandra Young shows us how some of the history will still be preserved. The halls of the former Mary H. Wright Elementary School just beyond this gate here are filled with history. It's been vacant for years, but now will be home to new apartments here on the south side, some of which will be ready come April. There are relatively few landmarks remaining uh, that uh, reference African American history in the city of Spartanburg, uh, and this is one of the most significant ones. The Mary H. Wright Elementary School, built in the 50s, was one of the first equalization schools in the state. This was at a level of architectural integrity that was consistent with white public schooling at the time. Now this building is being converted to 53 apartment units. Some of them will be market rate, but 20% uh, of those units will be workforce housing, and that's kind of targeting middle income folks, working folks uh, to draw more of them into the neighborhood. Chris George with the city of Spartanburg says the rent for the workforce housing units will be based off the income of the residents. He says it'll be no more than 30% of their income individually. It brings both affordable housing but also market rate housing to the south side. We need folks to choose to live in that area. Entryway looks kind of cool when you get up close to it. Brad Steinecke with the Historic Architecture Review Board is making sure the work is done right. There's a state level of protection that qualifies them for tax credits through the State Historic Preservation Office. And there's a local level of designation that prevents uh, and prevents future alterations. He says the outside of the building will have to remain intact. Uh, window features, doorway openings, the massing and scale of the building, uh, they can't uh, change it in, in ways that would be visible from the street. Steinecke says even with interior changes, the building will remain a safe space for history to live. Part of town, there's been a lot that's been lost over time, so the folks that live on the south side really want to retain as much as possible of that, old, that older heritage. George tells me there's also a phase two to this project. When all these units here behind me are done, he says the developer will add 50 to 60 additional units behind the school. In Spartanburg, Alessandra Young, 7 News. The developer also agreed to create an extension from the building to the Mary H. Wright Greenway.